welcome to the Marine Channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to ask you to do that now before you forget. Um, and also click the old alerts button down there and then we'll let you know every time we release a new video. Thank you for doing that. Now, let me show you a very special boat. When you come to boat shows, there are hundreds of boats and there are lots of decisions to make. But very occasionally when you're walking along a pontoon, you see something that just catches the eye and you go, I've got to get on board that. And this is just one of those boats. Let me just pan around a minute. It's a boat I'd never heard of before. It's called the Vandal. There we go. Now, <laughs> this boat is special in a number of ways. One of which is the fact it's got two massive outboard 425 horsepower V8 engines on the back on a boat that's about 14 meters. I'll explain why that is the case. But I think one look at this boat tells you there's something a little bit special going on here. and I'll explain to you the story behind it. Now, before we even get on board, let me just point to this sort of, <laughs> more than a rubbing strake, it's this uh, massive wraparound all on the side here. It's a, it's a composite material. It's, it's, it's actually kind of foam, different levels of foam inside. It's got this kind of polyurethane wrap, which is then fed and painted out. It looks fantastic. Um, it, it's kind of part styling, but massively practical because you can really bump into anything you want. And um, <laughs> let's just step aboard here. And the first thing you notice is that it's almost got a kind of a slight workboat feel to it with all this really heavy gauge of metal around the place. And the story behind this is, I'll, I'll put a lot more detail down in the, uh, down in the uh, text below, but there's a group of friends who have got a marine background and they were looking for a new boat, but they couldn't find one that did what they wanted so they went you know what let's go and design our own and build it and this is the result and this they describe as being the closest thing to a land rover defender that money can buy <laughs> and i'm starting to believe them because the more i look around this boat the more this does have that kind of go anywhere feel to it so around the back here we can see we've got this uh, bathing ladder it, it goes into these slots here so you can actually remove this and you can reposition it. So for example, back here where we came aboard through the gate, there's a couple more location points. And again, on this side here. So that can be lifted up and that can be moved around the boat. Now we talk about these outboard engines. So one of the important things the designers and engineers wanted was a boat that was the kind of thing you could kind of abuse. What I mean by that is when you finish using it and you moor it up, lift the engines out of the water, maybe not go back down for a few months, but when you do, the thing will start. And obviously with outboard engines, they're very self-contained, they're very, very easy to access, and they're very, very easy to maintain. They also give this boat a very decent turn of speed. So this boat will do about 42 knots, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so step into this area here. Now, what I want you to imagine is you can pretty much configure what you see here, for whatever design you want. Now, this boat we're on is a 2023. It's actually up for sale at the moment for 850,000 euros plus VAT. A new one to your spec would be probably about 1.1, something like that. There's still great value for both of this size. But you can see just how much kind of real estate and space you've got here. <clears throat> and there are plans on some of the later boats they're building for clients where, for example, there's a rail here. So this whole seating unit can slide forward. The seating can be reconfigured so it's facing one another. There can be a table in the middle. Really, whatever you want to imagine you can have. I really forgot to mention that just up here. How cool is that? You've got your shower. Nearly missed it. <laughs> so as you step out of the water, have your shower, this lovely non-slip flooring, and then you're up into the main area here. So as we move forward, we've got 
the food prep area here. So we've got a couple of burners and a sink there. Uh, there's some refrigeration down here on the side. And you can see here, this, this is down at the moment, that one folds up. So you've got quite a good area for food preparation. We're going to step forward to the helm position here. So bolster will drop down, twin seats. Now, what you'll notice as well is how far forward this helm position is. And that gives us some benefits upstairs when we go onto the flybridge shortly. Also gives you a really, really fantastic view out. So this is actually a, a foiling boat. It'll get up on the foil, I've been told around the kind of 16 knot um, speed, all the way up to the maximum. And it's incredibly seaworthy. So, you know, you can be pushing on 30 knots through a, you know, one and a half meter sea, and this is gonna feel very, very secure. The whole boat just feels very, very solidly constructed. You can see all the aluminum welds here. It really does have that kind of fit for purpose. And a feel to it. Obviously, we've got our big screens, we've got our throttles and our joystick control, all the things that one would need. It's going to pan around here on the starboard side, and this is where our, our heads is. So there's one heads on this one. Um, now, on some of the later boats, they're changing the configuration. So this area here is actually going to become a cabin. So this is a single cabin with single heads, um, but on the uh, some of the later boats they're building, this will be. Uh, two double cabins, so one down here. But let me show you what we've got on this one first of all. So let's move forward and down the stairs. The guys are saying here that basically, I love the phrase, you can vandalize the boat. Being a vandal, you can do what you want to it. So the configuration you're seeing here, if it doesn't work for you or you want something different, don't worry, it's all possible. But this, I think, is rather nice. So this is a double cabin. So there's a little, a little step up, but that's good because we've, we've got uh, somewhere to sit there. Got this nice area at the end of the bed that you can sit on. Got good standing headroom and good natural light. So we've got a couple of hatches there. We've also got hatches at the side here. And you've got lots of space around the bed to stick your phone, your iPad, your backpack, all the kind of stuff that you end up taking on board a boat. A little fan up there, which is nice. Well, I think this is really cute. Out around here, you can actually open this little window. You can talk to your helms person up there, hand them a cup of tea or a sandwich, should you wish. <laughs> Put your switch gear here on the panel, all nice and accessible and easy. I quite like its lining as well. The whole boat's got this very kind of workman like, very practical kind of feel. It, it still feels very nicely finished, but to hold that uh, defender analogy, it does feel like a boat that will go absolutely anywhere. You know, you've just got to look at these posts to know that when you're mooring up, and these handrails on the side here, making your way up to the bow. What we do is we go up the stairs to the flybridge, because we can kind of see everything from up here. And it also really underlines what I said about how far forward the helm position is. <clears throat> so you can see, very close to the front there. Somebody going out for a little bat in a 100% electric boat. The X Shore one. Looks like fun. You can see these rails absolutely everywhere, all the way around the boat. There's never, you're never far from something to kind of grab hold of. Decent seating area here too. So, this here will, will lift up and kind of flop into different positions. So you can make that into a larger sun lounger. You can sit facing forward, you can sit facing back. And then as we step back here, we've got this area, which is where we can put our tender. It looks like they're solar panels, I'm sure they are. And if you're wondering how you get the tender up and down, well, up here, which looks like a, and a roll bar is actually, there you go, the arm for lifting the tender. And then your winch is down here. But when that's stowed away, you would never know that that's what it does. There we go. So this boat really was about simplicity 
and robustness. No kind of faffiness, nothing that's going to go wrong, but at the same time, incredibly capable. And the kind of boat you can uh, you can put your trust in, and you can really enjoy. So it's a brand I've never heard of, but it's a brand I think we're going to see more of. As I say, there's plans for an 18 meter version, and the team here are very very comfortable talking about building boats to uh, to individual specifications. So if you look at this and go, yes, I love it, but I'd like this, I'd like that, talk to the team here. So there you go, the Vandal, 14 meters of fun, cracking looking boat, had to bring you aboard, hope you did. And if you haven't subscribed, hope you do now, and click the uh, alert button, so we'll let you know every time we release a new video. Thanks very much for watching the Marine Channel, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.